You know, to most men, a gun is irresistible. The sound of steel on steel speaks with an authority that every man admires. This beautiful gun is commonly known as the Kentucky Rifle. In 1776, we bought our freedom with this rifle, and with it in 1812, we proved to the world that we could retain that freedom. The Kentucky Rifle was a beautiful precision weapon, the best rifle in the world at that time made by Americans and used by them with masterful skill. But law west of the Mississippi was established by this repeating rifle, introduced in 1873. In the hands of the peace officers of the frontier, the buffalo hunters and Indian fighters, the magazine repeating rifle brought peace and civilization to the west. But uh, times have changed. There has been progress. Yes, lots of progress. Roy Weatherby has produced the most modern, accurate, and beautiful rifle of our time. Like the Kentucky and the first repeating rifle, it is writing its own page in history. The designer and inventor of the Weatherby rifle pioneered ultra-high velocity and is today the only independent manufacturer of rifles in our country. You know, Roy, it's been over 15 years since you started your basic experiments in the back of your garage. Yes, and I'm very grateful for the acceptance of my rifles throughout the world. And it's been fun developing these rifles every minute of it. Because I'm a hunter and I like to feel that I've made a needed contribution to my fellow sportsmen. The letters I receive from every corner of the globe and the friends I've made has been really a rich reward. And rest assured, progress will continue here at Weatherby's. Progress and friends, that's our business. One of the toughest sports in the world today is big game hunting. Finding a good trophy requires days and perhaps even weeks of searching. This sport requires both the ultimate in hunting skill and the best of modern gun engineering. Today's high-powered rifle combines explosive power with watch-like precision. It has the ability to kill cleanly with one shot at the longest ranges. The sportsman travels to every corner of the globe in the quest of trophy and adventure of the hunt. The prize of the hunt is the trophy itself, but the true thrill of hunting is the chase the challenge of man against nature, and the eventual finding of oneself. The true test of a man and his weapon is the hunt for the deadly game of Africa. It's here that one shot sometimes means the difference between life and death. One man who set out to meet the challenge of modern hunting was Roy Weatherby. His objective? To build the finest big game rifle ever produced. It had to combine the greatest power, finest accuracy, and absolute reliability. Believing that high velocity produced the greatest shock and killing effect, Roy experimented with every type of bullet, cartridge case, and powder to design a truly modern cartridge. First, the bullet one that would withstand extreme velocity and still be ultra accurate. The greater powder capacity of the belted magnum case was chosen and the most modern of slow burning powders. After months of testing, the Weatherby Magnum cartridge was developed. It was the first to take the guesswork out of long-range shooting. Range tests were set up using ordinary big game rifles and the Weatherby Magnum at was a five gallon can filled with water. It's this shock effect that means killing power, 100 yards. The most common deer rifle, the trusty 30 
was used for comparison. The Here in slow motion is a demonstration of the tremendous hydraulic shock generated by a high-speed Weatherby bullet. The shock wave itself can be seen in this visual shatter. Spectacular difference in shock effect of bulletproof glass. It is this explosion that makes the one-shot kill possible and humane hunting a reality. But explosive power is worthless without penetration. Half-inch steel armored plate is the acid test. Using a 30-06 rifle, the bullet disintegrates. No penetration whatsoever. The 300 Weatherby Magnum with a regular hunting bullet is tested next. Here is the impact point of the 30-06 and the Magnum, which has burned its way through one of the hardest of metals. But the proof of the pudding is the doing. Before a hunting rifle can truly be called proven, it must pass the real test the test of action against the toughest of big game. For Weatherby, only the lion, the buffalo, and the rhino of Africa could answer the question of the true power of his high-velocity bullet. With the cooperation of the East African Game Commission, a hunting safari was organized. A day out of Nairobi, we began passing through game country. Baboons, gazelles, and zebras. They were all on hand to greet us. Most of our hunting at this time was with binoculars and camera, but rubbernecking was on both sides, and some were better equipped than others. The best hunting in Africa is in the game preserves, <laughs> with a camera, that is. And we photographed a real live ballet. The king of the jungle is the elephant, and these fine tuskers make a trophy for either camera or gun. Our hunting safari took us far into the interior. The herds of certain species were overabundant and they needed to be thinned. They were eating the crops of the natives. It was an excellent opportunity to try the Weatherby rifle in action. Our experiments had paid off. Seldom was a second shot necessary. We kept scientific records of every shot and every kill. We delivered prime antelope steaks to the natives. The news of an upcoming feast spread rapidly. It even brought smiles to the faces of the village's most shy and beautiful bells. We found uh, that they were curious about us as we were about them. Like any market, there are always arguments over the best cuts of meat. They wanted trinkets from us, and we wanted photographs of them. Like women everywhere, they like to be photographed, but uh, they were embarrassed. Lion country looks much just like the rest of Africa, with one difference. There is a certain feeling in the air. You can tell by the restlessness of the game herds. 
the zebra and the wildebeest are the natural prey of the lion and they seem to know it. The only way for a hunter to approach the lion is to bait him with his natural food, the zebra. For our purposes, we chose an old and diseased animal. Our next step was to lash him to a tree, out of reach of natural scavengers. This was done, and we established a camp a mile away. There was nothing more to be done until dawn. On an African safari, one of the easy things is making camp because everything is attended to by the natives. And supervising the operation are the inevitable sidewalk or uh, treetop superintendents. Camp life gave us time to catch up on our homework. The data on our experiments had to be recorded before they were forgotten. With dawn came the knowledge that lions were close by. The bait had been pulled from the tree. Vultures, jackals, and wild dogs were busy taking part in the feast. The lioness and her cubs were finishing off the last of the banquet the old male had eaten the night before. Satisfied, the lioness moved off to join her mate. This was our chance. Following closely, we hoped for a clear shot at the king of the jungle. The black-maned African lion is truly one of the great trophies of the world, a great prize for any sportsman. Not far away, another drama was unfolding. This time, it was the natural law of the jungle, the hunter and the hunted, the young wildebeest and the lion. A third element, a Weatherby rifle, settled both counts. A week later, we had a chance at another of Africa's dangerous big five. This is the Cape Buffalo, a ton of ferocious strength that no other animal save man dare attack. With one shot for the kill and another for security, again the Weatherby made its point. The recovered bullet showed perfect penetration. In Africa, if you want to find a certain kind of game, it's a safe bet to ask a native hunter. We were looking for rhino, and this veteran told us that he had seen a large old rhino only a few miles away. The rhino saw us before we saw him. And he was coming like a locomotive to defend his territory. For the moment, it was a draw, and lucky for us, for a straight-on charge could easily turn over the truck. We were both just maneuvering, and the next move was up to us. A mad rhino is completely unpredictable, and we had to protect our truck. This meant an approach on foot. 
watching and waiting for the inevitable charge. Then it came. And believe me, it only takes one tense moment like that to convince you how important a dependable rifle can be. Pound for pound, the rhino is the hardest animal in the world to stop with a bullet. And as a fighter, he's definitely in the heavyweight class, a match for any gun and ammunition. The next day, we spotted a notorious rhino, noted for his vicious temper and bad record for killing natives. In this region of Africa, he was public enemy number one. We moved up on him downwind. A shift in the breeze and the smell of man would spur him to attack. This hunt was strictly a matter of business and we wanted no trouble. He made an excellent trophy. And no one was happier than the natives when the old rogue was done for. The African elephant is the largest of all land animals in the world and the greatest of all trophies. Tracking elephants is easy because they leave a wide open trail. We followed the herd for several days and were finally able to approach them within the range of our longest telephoto lenses. The wild elephant of Africa is far different from the domesticated one of the circus. He is lord of the jungle and one that no other animal dare attack. Aside from man, he has the world's best weapons, a tremendously powerful trunk backed up by saber-like tusks. The elephant resents any invasion of privacy. Approaching within shooting distance is a difficult process. The elephant has the most highly developed sense of smell in the animal kingdom, and he particularly dislikes the smell of man. Testing the wind, this old male senses trouble. A split second, and he will be on the attack. The elephant's armored-plated body was the supreme test of the Weatherby cartridge. Hunting elephants is like playing a game of chess, only the stakes are higher. Being among the most intelligent of animals, he must be outwitted. He must capitalize on his weak point, his eyes. Stalking him in such a way that he could neither smell nor hear us, the final approach was easy. It was a fine trophy for both the natives and for us. For us, a fine pair of tusks, and for them, a few tons of elephant burger. It was a fitting climax to our African safari. The Weatherby rifle had proven itself in action. No matter what job it was asked to do, it performed like a champion. These practical tests prove that, at last, we had developed a truly modern hunting rifle. Worldwide testing under all conditions of hunting is our guide at the Weatherby factory. Here, continuous improvement in engineering and manufacturing enables us to produce the world's finest rifles. New concepts and new ideas in rifle making are immediately put into production. Here in our drafting department are the designs for the weapons of the future. We're not only striving for more accuracy, power, and performance, but beauty as well. In our production department, specially trained machinists utilize the latest rifle-making tools. Throughout all the processes of drilling, polishing, and grinding, the most modern machinery and the finest of technicians ensure a flawless product. The heart of any rifle is the bore. At Weatherby's, a barrel blank is first bored, then turned in a lathe, and finally rifled. At Weatherby's, rifling is done on a revolutionary new machine which swages the rifling inside the barrel. The rifling on ordinary barrels is done by a cutting machine 
This leaves tool scratches and abrasions inside the barrel. But with the new swaging or hammer forging process, a half million pounds of pressure is exerted on the outside of the barrel, swaging the metal around the mandrel. The result, a barrel perfectly rifled with an interior finish as smooth and polished as glass. The action of the Weatherby rifle is made of the finest and strongest metals to assure absolute safety. Even to the smallest screw, every part is carefully machined and hand finished to produce a mechanism with strength, safety, and ease of operation. The end result, the Weatherby action is the strongest and most efficient rifle action in the world today. The rifle stocks are made using the finest selected hardwoods from all over the globe. These are first rough finished by machinery and then turned over to a skilled rifle stock maker to be finished entirely by hand. For accuracy, a properly designed, carefully finished and fitted stock is a necessity. Hand checkering heightens the beauty of any weapon, but it also serves as a very useful purpose. It furnishes a solid, non-skid grip for the hand, so necessary for steady shooting. Exotic wood inletting is only one of the features that makes a Weatherby Custom Rifle outstanding and distinctive. The entire performance of a rifle is dependent upon the careful and precise fitting arrow, action, and stock. For extreme accuracy, this process of bedding must always be performed by hand fitting. Indispensable to a modern rifle today is a good telescopic sight. The Weatherby scope is designed and built to fit the exacting standards of the Weatherby rifle itself, as well as all other rifles. Utilizing the finest and newest of optical glass, the lenses are ground to the highest optical standards. Into each scope goes five separate optical glass elements. Each of these has to be carefully cemented and then coated in a special vacuum chamber. This coating prevents reflections inside the tube and guarantees to the hunter a perfectly clear and bright picture. The science of optics makes it possible for the modern hunter to utilize the extreme long-range accuracy of the modern rifle. Although in reality a delicate scientific instrument, the Weatherby scope is amazingly rugged. Each optical element is set in a tough metal mount and the crosshair is shock mounted. All assembly takes place in a dust-free room. The completed unit is sealed against dirt, dust, water, and even air itself. The factory test to ensure complete weatherproofing is 24 hours of total immersion underwater. In the final assembly of the Weatherby rifle, we see the sum total of 400 years of arms development. First, the most accurate of barrels, and then a rifle action that totally encloses the cartridge in solid steel. It's the safest action ever devised. And last, a fine handmade custom built stock. And before each individual gun is shipped, it must be proof tested by actual firing. It must pass all tests of safety and accuracy. Every Weatherby rifle must far surpass in accuracy any demands that might be placed upon it by the hunter. Using a hundred yard range, each Weatherby rifle, regardless of caliber, must group its shots into an area less than an inch and one half. 
There's something special about each and every Weatherby rifle. It's an individual rifle for the most discriminating man. From the very beginning to the final packing, it's almost completely custom made. No wonder that discriminating hunters around the world have selected it as their personal choice. Whether you be a taxi driver or a king, there's a particular Weatherby rifle to fit your particular requirements. And Roy Weatherby takes a personal interest in every customer. As a sportsman to a fellow sportsman, Roy welcomes King Mahendra from Nepal and his queen to the Weatherby plant. Between hunting stories, the king selected a Weatherby rifle for his next tiger hunt. To honor the outstanding big game hunter and sportsman of the year, Roy Weatherby has established the coveted Big Game Trophy Award. Elgin Gates, recent winner, has trophies from every corner of the globe. From the polar bear of the Arctic to the rarest game of Africa. He, like modern sportsmen all over the world, has acclaimed the Weatherby, the ultimate in rifles. Through constant research, engineering, and development, new ideas are always on the drawing board to make hunting a finer, more enjoyable sport and to assure the sportsmen of the world, tomorrow's rifle, today. <laughs>